Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'll be showing you all how to make the most efficient and simple furnace system smeltery thing you can make inside of Minecraft. So if you like the sound of that, please make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you really enjoy it, please make sure to subscribe and share it with your friends. But without further ado, let's get into this. So, when you're playing Minecraft, you know, usually when you want to go smelt up some items, maybe you just might use the furnace. So maybe if I get some, I don't know, I want to, let's say, I want to smelt down some iron with some coal, okay? So, I took my coal in, took my iron in, and we can see that starts smelting up. But really, this is quite slow, and it's not really an efficient way of making, of, um, you know, smelting up all your ores and stuff. Then, for some of the more advanced players, we have this. The tiny, super simple furnace system. So what this does is it take you put the few you put what you want to smelt, so say the iron in the top in this in this double chest, and then it gets split evenly between these two hoppers and goes into these furnaces and then you split up the coal equally into both of them and it starts smelting away. This is what I have in my survival series. And this is a very simple smeltery. It only needs six hoppers and then it smelts up stuff twice as fast as the first method. And then we have the redstone smeltery system. Now this may look a bit complicated but really this is very simple. Items get taken out of the chest, they go along the hoppers, and when there's an item in the end, this unpowers the redstone torch, so all the items can drop through, and then they go into the furnaces, and it all gets smelted up four times as fast. And so today, I'll be showing you all how to make this really, really simple little furnace system. So the first thing you want to do is this, you're going to place down a chest. And this is going to be where your outputs come from, like the smelted iron ingots. And this can be double chest, or you could just use a single chest. It doesn't really matter. I just use a double chest because I know I can fit more items in there. Then what you're going to want to do is place four hoppers leading into that chest, and then four furnaces on top of these hoppers. And the next step you want to take is place four hoppers leading into all these furnaces. Mm -hmm. Then go on top, place four hoppers leading into the top of them. And then the next thing, the next step is um, you want to just have something here to place your next row of hoppers on. This is going to be going across like this facing all in this direction towards the iron block. Then the next thing you want to do is place a block up here, then have all your hoppers running into each other, you place them onto each other. So it looks a little something like this. You can see the ends of the hoppers all pointing in this direction. So that's the main hopper system done. And now we're moving on to the redstone section. So what you want to do is place some blocks along the top here and then just put some redstone along them. One, two, three, four. And then take out some blocks around the end. Now what you want to do is place a comparator here and that will be running up into a block with a redstone torch on its face which is going to be leading into a repeater and that's going to be on two ticks. So you just pull it back by one. The next thing you're going to want to do is basically repeat this on the other side with the lower down one and then place the red, place down the redstone, take out the two blocks again, go up the comparator running out into the block with the redstone torch on its face here, the repeater on two ticks and then the final touch is just to place down your chests, I'm making them double chests, they don't have to be, and then this is your entire 
sm furnace, smeltery simple, furnace, smeltery system, all done and dusted. Oops. Apart from if you punch it off like that. So now if we go give it a tester, I can just where is it? I can just grab a stack of iron and just grab a stack of coal and I can chuck the iron in the top here. Yeah, this top chest is where the fuel is where the thing you want to smelt in goes up there. And this this lower chest is for the coal. And as you can see, the second all these booted together at the same time, you can see all the coal and iron is being evenly spread and we can just see here, four just pouring, yeah. So four just straight up into the chest like that. But if you want a maximum efficiency, one of these systems, really, like these systems can get faster. Like this simple redstone thing can be a lot faster. And I can show you a very quick way to do that right now. All you want to do basically is do the same thing you did over here and just stretch it out along 15 blocks so I'll just give you a quick demonstration 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oops, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 there we go all the furnaces on top and yeah it's a bit slow to build because you have to constantly keep shifting but honestly this system is really fast. The only kind of downside you may run into is that you will need a lot of iron for this system to work. You see, for each um, each furnace you have in the system, you will need five hoppers, which is 25 iron. So if you want to make the four the four hopper system over there, the four furnace system, you'll need a hundred iron. And then to make something like we're doing here, you'll need about um I'm, I'm just trying to think. Do quick maths on camera. Um let's see, uh hundred times four, then minus twenty-five. You'll need about three hundred and seventy-five pieces of iron, which is a lot if you want to make the maximum efficiency one of these systems so yeah it may be really fast but it does come at a considerable price so that may be something you want to look out for in case you do end up building this and anyway, we're going to keep going along 15 blocks and then I'll just show you how fast you can actually get these systems to run if you have it at full stretch so keep going along they're just placing the chests and again chest here and really, this system, you can keep doing it over and over again. It's really simple to recreate. It's just, you know, if I, you just need, really, it's just hopper, furnace, hopper, just some more ring into it. And this system, this line of redstone right here, all it's doing is making sure that whatever items you have, they get evenly spread throughout the furnaces and you see if I go back here see all of it all of this is finished smelting apart from apart from like the only thing with this system is you will end up there'll be one of each item left in the hoppers so it may be something you want to consider that's the only difference as to these systems these systems will smelt up all the items but these this one it may leave just one of the item left in the hopper. So that may be something you want to consider when building this, but honestly, it isn't too much of a problem. If you are going to be building this, you're probably going to have enough resources so that you can afford to leave one or two items still left inside of this massive system. So I'm just going to keep going along here and yeah, I just want to take the repeater out here, two ticks. Same thing back down here, out, two ticks. And yeah, this is the full size system you can have. And as you can imagine, this one smelts up items incredibly fast. So I can just get some coal and put the iron in here, coal in here. All you need to do is wait for 
literally um they go along and then all of a sudden if you can just see this wait for it wait for it and boom all but this one weird one in the middle that might be a bug but um, yeah you can get these on full efficiency at that fast so guys if you have enjoyed this video showing you how to make some simple super fast smell trees please make sure to leave a like on it and if you really enjoyed please make sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe but thanks for watching everyone this has been Kalos on Plays and I'll see you all in the next video goodbye